This is the real life of James CD. And I happen to be the real James CD. Well, I'm thwarted by a metaphysic puzzle. And I'm sick of creating papers that I know. I'm crying in my sleep, I need a muzzle. Cause all this misery pays no salary, so we'll pack up all the stuff and fly so far away. Leave this to the roaches and mice. We'll pack up all the stuff and fly to Santa Fe. And leave this to the roaches and mice. I don't know if you guys paid attention. But the Rent musical was live on Fox this week. It was pretty... I was excited. I, I had never seen one of the live shows because they've done Wizard of Oz. They've done Sound of Music. I think they did a different one. Maybe it was Grease. And I've always thought to myself, wow, that's exciting. It's like Saturday Night Live used to be where there's no safety net. Anything could happen. It's live theater. It's live theater. Well, it turns out that one of the stars, the character playing Roger. Roger's the guitar playing rock and roll guy. Broke his foot in the dress rehearsal. And so what they come out with is they come out and say, the show must go on. They've made a video and they're like, in solidarity with our castmate and with the director that originally wrote this play, we're going to say the show must go on. Backstory, not to... Not to put too much on there. I don't know how much you know about the musical Rent. But the guy who wrote the musical Rent died the night that it showed up on Broadway. And it's possible that he died a couple days before, or like just before. But the story I've been told, he died the night it was supposed to go on at Broadway. And the show goes on. And that's what they came together. They made a little video clip that aired right before Rent Live was going to play on Fox TV in front of the United States. I don't know, millions of people? And they had a video made. They were like, our friend broke his foot. And in solidarity with him and with the director who died opening night, the show must go on. So we're using a pre-recorded one from the rehearsal of all his spots. Wait! I don't think you understand what the show goes on means. The show goes on means you use your understudy and you do it live. You do it live. There must have been an understudy. I am the king of being on a veil. I've been on a veil for seven commercials in a row right now. I can't tell you what they were. And each one, oh, being on a veil, it's the same as booking. What happens is either they're going to book you or they're going to book another guy. Or they book the other guy and he breaks his foot. Now, I don't know if there was a Nancy Kerrigan moment going on behind the scenes and we didn't realize that this guy's foot was broken by the understudy, but shy of that, they should have had it live, not pre-recorded, and they should have used the understudy. It's really upsetting to me. It's really, really upsetting. <sighs> if you want to hear more about rent, I'll tell you next time. guys got the opportunity to watch Rent the Musical live on Fox this weekend. Just round of applause. That's great. Okay, fine, 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 fine. How many of you guys are familiar with the musical Rent? <laughs> Perfect. Well, they had the live version. I know that you probably know that they've done a bunch of live musicals, Sound of the Music, blah, blah, blah. But as this, I was looking forward to it. I love Rent the Musical. I've seen it twice live, live, in person. I had Mark throw the goddamn key down, and I got to keep it. It was just an uncut key. <laughs> God, it was fucking sweet. And I have never seen one of these bullshit live, live uh, musicals before. Skipped out. I'm a musical fan. But when I saw Rent was going to be on, I set my DVR and showed up fucking live because I wanted to see what could happen in live theater. And it starts off with the clip from the cast saying, oh, our friend that plays Mark, actually, no, I'm lying, that plays Roger, 
broke his foot. So a lot of the stuff you're going to see tonight is from our dress rehearsal. I'm like, this is your fucking lie. And they say, well, just like our director said before our show, the, the person who wrote Rent died before it actually hit Broadway. It was a sad, tragic story. And they're like, in honor of him, the show must go on. So we're going to be showing pre-record. That's not what the show goes on means. You don't fucking get it. The show go on, that's from like circus times. Like some, one of your friends is supposed to shoot out of a cannon, but instead it goes blam and there's blood every fucking place. The show goes on, you get in that goddamn cannon and you're gonna be the one shot out. They made me watch pre-recorded material. You know what was special about it is it was shitty. Everybody was saving their voice because they knew they were going to be live in front of millions of people. So people are half-assing their performance. And that's what I got to see. They kept the last minute. We re-choreographed the final act. The final act is like two scenes. And he sits the whole fucking time. You didn't re-choreograph this. You had him sit in the bed and everybody revolved around Roger. That's not, the whole musical screwed up, though. If you take a closer look, I love rent, so I hate to say it like this. But it starts off, how do you pay the rent? I don't want to pay the rent. I pay rent. Okay? They stayed at Benny's house for a year free. And he comes and he's like, guys, I can't let you stay here for free. I need rent this month. Or, or I'll give you free rent, but you got to stop a protest because I'm trying to get paying customers here. And they're like, no fucking way. And they kill his dog. <laughs> they literally kill this guy. So the friend that let him stay there for a year, they kill his dog because it barks. That yapping Akita just won't shut up and they fucking kill it. <laughs> Rent the musical live. Thank you guys for listening to my rant. Have a good night. <laughs>